Boy, it is dangerous when bullets fly through the air, and this time no one was hurt. But several Portsmouth homes and businesses were damaged last night at Pebble Point and Silver Maple. Police tell Tenor Your Science Asia Tolliver they don't have any suspects yet. Asia? That's right, Anita. Close calls and multiple incidents yesterday, according to people in the area, they say it is a miracle no one was hurt. Well, I heard the shots, and I was like, I thought it was gunshots at first, but then it was so many of them, I was like, maybe it's fireworks, you know, kids are just fooling around. Once I heard the glass shatter, I was like, all right, no, that's a gun. Michael Lardarello owns Cloud Status Vapes here in Portsmouth. He says when he went back inside, his front door was shot and the bullet on the ground. Portsmouth police say numerous reports for shots fired came in the area around 5 p.m. Sign I had on the door kind of, you know, stop the bullet maybe? I don't know. Can't really say that, but uh, Vapress, so one of the companies we carry, I got to hit them up and get another sign. He's replaced the glass door, but now he's out $500 right before rent is due. But he says, on the other hand, he's happy no one was hurt. I mean, talk about luck. I mean, it, it went from there to here and didn't hit anything but the glass. I mean, that's the main thing. I think that's really, you know, everything else sucks, but it could have been so much worse. Another business owner on this strip who didn't want to go on camera says after he heard the shots, four boys with guns came running up the road. Lardarello says the first shots came from that direction in these apartments near Pebble Point Court and Silver Maple Drive. That's where one man lives whose car was shot into. Now, he didn't want to go on camera, but says he saw two people running from gunshots, and then his back window was hit while he was inside. He feels lucky to be alive. Lardarello says police told him they may already have the suspects. One of the kids went into the laundry mat to try to hide the gun. They got him on camera. Like, it's, I'm like, how? Yeah. I guess when you're young, you don't think. But. Police are currently investigating the incident. I've reached out to them to see about those possible suspects, but haven't heard back yet. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Tolliver. 10 on your side.